friends welcome or welcome back if this is your first time here hello my name is Kim I am an author illustrator and here on my channel I love to create content that's relating to books writing and cozy lifestyle so as some of you may know my debut book is coming out let me I'm just trying to get it right here this bad boy is coming out on May 21st I illustrated and wrote this book it is currently available for pre-order wherever books are sold of course i'll always include links down below but yes it is the week before release day currently as i'm filming this i'm sure when this vlog goes up i don't know when this is gonna go up but maybe it'll be once it's been released but currently um it is a week before release day and it is a busy week okay it is a busy week of marketing it is a busy week of doing instagram lives i'm doing a social media tour that is what we're calling it me and my publisher and i'm going to be talking with a whole bunch of folks wonderful folks about my book and it is scary it is exciting i am feeling all of the feels i previously shared on my other vlog where I am recording the everything that I've been doing for to prep for release day for my book about how I have really I wouldn't say bad but I just have some pretty extreme anxiety when it comes to just public speaking and speaking so <laughs> This is very new territory for me as I am prepping to speak about my book with a variety of wonderful people. These are books who some of them are therapists, who are influencers, who uh, share about books, who are advocates about resistance and healing, decolonial healing, and all of that is what my book is about. My book is about wellness but there's so much more to it. I'm excited to speak about my book with these folks and I'm feeling all the jitters. So today is my Monday. I am not speaking with anyone today but my tour officially starts tomorrow my social media tour and I'm going to be talking with Juliet Diaz who is the founder of Spiritbound Press who is my publisher so I'm going to be chatting with her tomorrow I am going to have all the details over on my social media on Instagram so feel free to follow me there if you guys are interested to just follow my work and I don't know go to the lives to my social media live tours I'll have the link to my social media down below of course so I am not doing any touring today tomorrow is when it officially starts and then from there it's probably like a tour oh it's probably like a live every day going from there until my book releases on the 21st next week today though I do want to do some prepping for a very busy week what's gonna be for me so I'm gonna take you guys along today's objective is to clean my space I am someone who if my space is not clean and tidy and it just feels good and homey I get even more severe anxiety so because I'm going to mostly be doing my lives here in this area I want to clean up I want to get everything organized I want to dust I want it to smell good I just want to set the energy for the kind of energy that I want to embody to do these lives and hopefully not feel super anxious so today's incentive is to clean my space make it nice and homey and just give it a good refresher I want to also water my beautiful plants and I'm going to have a chill day okay I want to have a chill and relaxed day because starting tomorrow is when it's when it's gonna go down okay so today just clean up and then I also want to review my book go through each of the chapters make notes make mental notes about what I want to talk about because there's going to be some questions that I'm going to be asked and kind of highlight some more stuff I've already started highlighting and all that stuff so yeah I'm going to be taking you guys along a little bit for today and then for the rest of the week during my lives I'm going to be recording a little bit of some of the lives that I do I guess the purpose of these videos are to showcase to you guys what goes down behind the scenes when you are prepping for a book release so this is what's happening it's a lot of marketing it is a week before release day and it's a lot of marketing it's a lot of chatting it's 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 a lot and i'm feeling all the feels so let's get to it friends let's start cleaning and start making this space a little bit more homey i hope that you guys enjoy this video if you guys do please remember to like subscribe do all of the things that way you guys don't miss any videos even after my book releases i have so much more happening relating to my book i still have to record the audiobook and i have i'm going to be doing actual live book signings and i'm gonna take you guys along so if you guys are interested then subscribe that way you guys don't miss out so uh, let's get into it you guys <laughs> Where do we start? And 
audiobook would be great to start off with. Currently reading The Making of Yolanda La Bruja by Lorraine Avila. I don't know if you guys could see that. Really good so far. It is an urban fantasy story about a witch and I am really enjoying it. I'm about 50% into the book. to hear what she has to say, but essentially checks her tone. Club members look uncomfortable, something's wrong with me. And where's the guy that was trying to get me to stay yesterday? I look at him, but he hardly catches my eye. This boy's really out here, trying to play as if it's a move. You know, she doesn't even mind. Like I said, it's always quiet as hell, but it's always present. Her makeup stays on point, and the baby hair's coming over. Hi friends, it is the next day and my first, well my only live for today starts in just a few minutes. It is currently 7.46 a.m. and I am going live with the founder of where my book is being published. Juliet Diaz is the founder and I'm going live with her and just a few to speak about my book. I am a little bit nervous, actually I am a lot nervous. <laughs> The good thing is that I already know Juliet and we have a great relationship so I feel very safe in that environment speaking with her. I think I'm just more so nervous because of speaking and I have a huge, I have a huge, I don't know, my anxiety just gets super extreme whenever I know that I need to speak. And I know this is about my book but I don't know, I just get like stage fright and I know this is not on stage but I'm speaking to someone about my book and they're going to be asking me questions and just the fact that I'm being watched and being listened to sometimes can be live you know it's not like it's different when I'm recording for YouTube because if I mess up or I go blank I can just sit here and think about it and then just edit that when I'm editing the video so it's a little bit different so yeah this is live so there's no deleting or going back everyone's watching you in real time so that's a little nerve-wracking but the good thing is that Juliet sent me a few questions beforehand of what she's going to ask me so I have those popped up on my screen I did spend some time yesterday and then this morning kind of going over my answers and um, I just have them up on my screen so when I'm doing the live with Juliet if I happen to go blank I can just quickly look up and they're right there the other bad thing is that I have a cough because of my allergies so that's quite a bit annoying and I've been drinking some ginger uh, tea with honey to see if that can soothe my throat a bit but yeah that's gonna suck if I'm just coughing on the screen oops but yeah, I have my book here. I have a few. I was asked to share a favorite quote from my book and one of my most favorite quotes is the beginning quote. It's like the introduction quote. I love that quote. 
and I'm going to be sharing that. But yeah, I'm just going to do some, a little bit more prepping. I have about 10 minutes left before we do the live. And probably, hopefully, calm down a little bit with my jitters. Practicing deep breaths. Time to market this book. Time to speak about my book, which is exciting. Ah, but yeah, it's that stage fright. That stage fright that's kicking my butt. But uh, the good thing is that uh, all these uh, lives or all this talking that I'm going that I'm going to be doing this entire week I'm trying to look at it through a perspective where, where that's going to help me out with just public speaking in general I think I have like oh my gosh maybe like probably like six or seven lives that I still need to do throughout this week with other folks so I'm trying to look at it through a lens where it's going to help me with my jitters, with my anxiety, with public speaking, with speaking in general to an audience. I'm trying to stay optimistic. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more prepping and get ready for this interview live. All right, you guys, this is my setup. I have my phone right here propped up right next to my computer. So I have a few of the questions that Juliet's gonna ask me. I think it's like about five. And then I have some of my very long answers, but <laughs> the idea is to just quickly glance at this when I'm being asked and just kind of get a refresher of what I wanted to say because I know what I want to say, but when I'm asked in that moment because of all my jitters and anxiety, I tend to just go blank. I feel like with just a reminder of what I wanted to say, the information will quickly come to me um, and I'll be able to say it. But this little setup makes me feel a little bit more better. I think that's the most thing that gives me anxiety is just the fact that I tend to forget what I wanted to say when I'm being asked questions which is normal when you have anxiety or stage fright I feel like it's not the fact that you don't know what you want to say it's the fact that when you're asked because of all your jitters and anxiety you just tend to go blank so here's my little my little setup it's making me feel a little bit better so we're hoping it goes good it's gonna go good it's gonna go good <laughs> You know what, and sometimes it's important to cry, you know? It's important to cry, and that's another thing that needs to get normalized in our communities. <laughs> yes, please do. These are amazing freebies. We have a, yeah, we have a 10-page coloring book of illustrations and affirmations that are not in the book that I illustrated and wrote myself, and then I The live is done. I did, I did it. I did a brave thing. Oh my gosh. I went outside, I took a deep breath and I regrounded myself and it felt nice after the fact of having done the live. It really helped having my notes up and like my phone right in front of it. That way I can quickly just glance over to remind myself what I wanted to say. I think I only maybe like froze once or stumbled upon my words once because of my anxiety but it went really well it went really well i'm so proud of myself i feel really good today what i want to do is i need to film a youtube video it is a q a video that i'm going to be filming editing and posting probably tomorrow i also want to work on some book marketing stuff i still need to i think finalize i think i want to do stickers i think i need to do some yeah i need to do some stickers that i need to finalize get printed and ready for my shop that like i mentioned in my previous vlog i wanted to open up a shop where i'm offering signed copies of my books and they come in a little packaging with three prints and some stickers and stuff like that so i need to work on the stickers today or maybe tomorrow and kind of go from there but feeling really good after the fact my jitters have calmed down and yeah i could do hard things you guys i could do hard things time to eat get something in my system and get back to work <laughs> Day two of lives, just waiting for my friend Georgina to start the live so we can start chatting about my book. 
just giving her a second to join the live. I have my little setup here with some notes. I am still a little bit nervous, but I think I'm okay because I know Georgina, but still a little bit nervous. The cool thing about this particular live, or actually the lives going forward, I was talking to my publisher yesterday, and what we're gonna be doing is giving away a free print on every live. That way it kind of motivates folks to join the live and stay throughout the live. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway on each live of a print these are the prints that i have these are illustrations from the book so i have this one this one and this one that i actually went ahead and colored in so i'm very excited we're gonna be giving or i'm gonna be giving away one print during each of the live just waiting for georgina to pop on here i have my tea i have some water so just waiting <laughs> all right there she is i think she started the live so i'm going to join it Hello everyone. Um, like I said, I know it's 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 been a minute, and and we are going to have. it is thursday today and i am doing another live another day another live i'm about to jump onto it right now still feeling nervous still have still have the jitters but i feel like i'm slowly starting to get a little bit better at these so yeah about to jump into it so i'm sure it's gonna go great so yeah <laughs> I completely forgot to hit record <laughs> when I did this live, uh, maybe because I was very uh, nervous. Yeah, this live was with a guy named Christopher Rivas, who is also an author. He's the author of Brown Enough. And to be quite honest, I don't usually have, I don't know what it is, right? I'm, I'm just going to be completely honest. I usually don't have conversations with men when it comes to healing and just reclamation and just everything that my book is about right i don't know what it is about speaking with men about my book that it sort of triggers a response in my body and i think it's because i've just had very uh, negative experiences before when it comes to speaking about wellness with men in general where i've been gaslighted about my experiences and stuff like that i don't know it just triggers something in my body but for this talk with christopher rivas nothing on him by the way he was he was fine he was it was it was uh it was a good chat but i was just very nervous and i started panicking a little bit and i did go a little bit blank um and also because he didn't send me any prep questions beforehand everyone else that i'm speaking to has sent me prep questions for me to feel more prepared for the conversation but he didn't it was kind of a sc scary experience on my end just because of things that i've dealt with in the past if that makes sense i forgot to press record because of me just being nervous anyways tomorrow friends tomorrow i have another live at eight in the morning and then i have a zoom interview with pam from the witch wave podcast that's gonna be very fun so yeah i have two tomorrow and then i have one on saturday and then sunday i get to rest and then monday i have two and then tuesday release day i have two more so it's a busy busy week you guys so yeah I will speak with you guys later. I'm gonna go and take a nap. Maybe that will calm my nerves because I still feel very nervous. <sighs> I need to, I need to learn. I need to learn how to have just social interactions. It's okay, Kim. It's okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm learning to celebrate myself um, and I'm rejoicing in this moment. So thank you so much. You come from marginalized communities and deprives us of self-expression. I believe my book serves as a beacon encouraging folks to reconnect with their true selves with Hello, hello friends. Today is Sunday. I am having a pretty chill day today. I got done with all of my six interviews this past week. These were podcast interviews. These were lives I did on Instagram. And if you've been keeping up with me from my previous vlogs, even in this video, you know that I am terrified of interviews or it just makes me very anxious. So I am celebrating. I am taking a very easeful day today. Today I don't have any interviews. I did my last one for this past week yesterday in the morning, which went great. And I'm so excited. I feel like the more that I do it, the more that I'm starting to get comfortable with just public speaking and talking about my bug it is one thing writing it it is a different thing when it is out into the world or it's about to be out into the world and you have to talk about your bug folks want to hear it firsthand from you so very new to this space and um it's been a roller coaster but i'm so proud of myself i did six of them as someone who doesn't do any interviews or <laughs> oftentimes speak with someone in that format this it was very um it, it, it was very out of my comfort zone but very refreshing to do so my book releases on tuesday i do have two more interviews to do tomorrow on monday and then two more on release day on tuesday and then from there i'm kind of just gonna take it a little bit slow for the rest of the week just be in the moment celebrate and then i believe the following week i might start more interviews more online interviews and then we'll see once my book actually starts hitting stores physically possibly doing a book signing or live reading event that's sort of what's coming i will probably stop the vlog before then obviously just so i can get this first part out so yesterday for the rest of the day i just kind of took it just chill me and my family did a little barbecue outside and i just want to share with you guys my siblings surprised me with something so beautiful to congratulate me on the release of my book and uh, i just found it so wonderful and very intentional and it took me by surprise because they had already gifted me something prior and these little gifts were just so beautiful and so me and i was very emotional yesterday about them so they got me some tiffany and co <laughs> but it is not what you imagine i didn't even know tiffany and co does this and it was just it's so beautiful so they got me this little thing and let's see if the camera picks it up this is actually a bookmark it's probably a little bit dirty right now because i've been it has a whole bunch of fingerprints but this is actually a bookmark and it i don't know if you could see it but it has my initials and it has a little hummingbird in it because if you read my book the hummingbird is a bird that i feel very connected to and it's my little animal guide that i have a deep relationship with so they got that personally engraved on this cute little tiffany and co bookmark and it's metal it just looks so cute in a book let me show you guys how this looks like it's just so gorgeous i didn't even know tiffany and co does bookmarks that's how that looks like it's so gorgeous it's so beautiful i'm going to be treasuring this forever it's so beautiful so they got me this and then my siblings know me too well i have such a loving relationship with my siblings i have three siblings and we just have a beautiful bond and then they got me 
this little thing right here, which is, <laughs> they are so funny. They got me my very own embosser. <laughs> this is so cute. I expressed to my one of my sisters like a long time ago that I would love a little embosser to just stamp all of my books that I own with my own little name that says from the library of Kimberly Rodriguez. And she remembered and they got me a little embosser that stamps. It kind of just, you kind of put the page in here and you squeeze really tight and it leaves a print that says from the library of Kimberly Rodriguez with a little flower. I went ahead and stamped one yesterday it came with these little stickers right here so let me see if you guys could see that i kind of stamped it a little bit crooked but i don't know if you guys could see it but it says from the library of and then it says kimberly rodriguez and it has like a little flower in the middle and it's just the cutest little thing ever i absolutely adore this so much i love anything and everything that has to do with stationery and this I am going to adore forever. It's definitely going to be such a meditative process <laughs> to just go throughout my entire book collection and just stamp everything. So yeah, I am so excited for these very intentional and beautiful gifts for my siblings. They're just the best. But today for the rest of the afternoon, I actually want to start working on updating my online shop because like I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs, I do want to open up my shop and put some books up for sale and these are going to be copies the of my book that are signed and then later on in the afternoon i am having a little photo shoot i asked my sisters if they could help me take a little photo shoot of me with my book just so i can post the day that my book is released on tuesday and just i don't know i don't have any pictures with me just sort of holding my book and just posing with my book so I did a little uh, Pinterest mood board and I shared it with my sisters. I'll post some pictures here of what kind of I'm going for. So we're going to see if we can get that vibe. I went out this morning and I got some flowers for the photo shoot and I'm just going to do my makeup and dress kind of in that vibe and snap some pictures with my baby right here. I constantly have to remind myself that I need to celebrate myself and just do all the celebratory things and I feel like just having a fun little photo shoot with my book is just a beautiful way to honor this journey and to honor the releasing of my book so yeah that's the plan for today i will take you guys along and go from there